Hey everybody. So, uh, it finally cooled down just a, <laughs> a little bit yesterday evening. Enough to where I could get out here and build the base for this new Dutch bucket system that I've been threatening to build. So I got that done. And I came out here today and <laughs> I, I got a lot more done. It was like uh, five minutes in the greenhouse, 15, 20 minutes <laughs> into that banana tree and a beer because it was ridiculously hot. I had 90 degrees at nine o'clock in the morning. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, anymore and I'd be like uh, Bobby over there in Southern Virginia, 100 degrees plus. Yikes, I don't even want to deal with that. Anyway, uh, I just wanted to show you what I've got done so far here today. And I still got to get the reservoir done, but I've got the drain and I've got all the buckets put together. And um, yeah, let me just let me just show you really quickly what I've got done. All right, check it out. Okay, well, there's the platform. And uh, you can see I got the drain going down here and uh, under here it just drops out into into the reservoir which will be that right over there and that'll half fit under here and half the lid will open so I can service it um, and then of course I'm gonna have to wrap, wrap that uh, light type material around these buckets but you can see guys it's just very very basically simple I've got the drain on a little angle there so she just kind of keeps all pumping forward I put a little clean out valve in the top there uh, because with the root issues I've had guys <laughs> man I, I yeah I, I need a way in there and what I'm doing different on this one is uh, I've got this smaller bucket if I can get it out that's, uh, I drilled a lot of holes in the bottom of it. And it's, uh, really it's about maybe half the volume of this guy. But the deal is, on my other Dutch bucket system, I had the roots come up, actually grow into here, come down, down the drain, and into the reservoir. Um, that's, that's the system right there. Uh, and in fact, that's the real guilty guy right there. So anyway, I wanted to kind of uh, avoid that this time. So I thought what I'd try to do is I would suspend my hydroton in this smaller bucket. And uh, just have a nice big air cavity below. And uh, that bucket comes down about there. And this could be air cavity. And then I'll have the water table there at the bottom of the drain. Uh, so anyway, that's my... That's my plan with this one. Um, of course, all, all of these guys will all have those, those same buckets with the holes. But um, And right here uh, is going to be a, a fresh water reservoir. So anyway, I'm thinking this is going to be pretty good, guys. Um, there's some little tomato plants. I got uh, some cuttings uh, actually from that uh, bubbler I showed you. But uh, anyway, this is what I've got done so far. Um, I think it's going to be pretty good. Um, I think it's going to work really good. In fact, I think it's going to work way, way, way better than the one over in the corner. Uh, I have had some root issues with that. In fact, you know what? To be honest with you, I've had root issues with everything. The NFT system, um, that may have been my choice of plants, cucumbers and that. Uh, boy, they got some pretty wild roots. And the tomatoes, jeez nutty roots so anyway uh, I think uh, maybe this I'll, I'll I'll find a way away from that at least I could be able to service it easy and just get the roots out of the drain so anyway that's where I'm at with this so far uh, I'll get with you when I uh, when I get the reservoir hooked up and we'll, we'll give her a test room it's very hot it's very hot that's all I can say it's about five days later. It's still very hot, really hot. Really hot. So, I got this other Dutch bucket system built. She's all set up. I'll show you the reservoir. I think I pretty much everything in the beginning of this video is shown that. So, 
I'll give you just a quick view of the of this reservoir and show you how she's working now. Working good. I'll leave the top open so you can see kind of what's inside. It's just your basic little setup, but uh, yeah, I think it's going to be just fine. Check it out. Okay, guys, here's the reservoir I built. Uh, it's just one of those kind of hard plastic storage totes. Uh, you got really nice lids. Uh, they come in black and blue. I, I don't know. I thought the black might get way too hot. I'm going to try to uh, leave this blue right in the sun and just see how bad it heats up. But uh, <clears throat> So here's what's going on. There's my pump there. It's a heck of a nice little pump. 250 gallons an hour, I think, maybe better. So she just comes up here and pumps under the table. So she comes up here and then is diverted to all the four buckets. And you can see in the top, I hope you can see. I'm just using these four little sprinklers, like my uh, another Dutch bucket in the in the corner there. So all four of these are just going away. And uh, so then anyway, we're going to give this a shot. Hydroton will sit in the top this time. It won't go all the way to the bottom. So in the reservoir, I got one of those long air stones, uh, really pumping the air. And there's a the little float valve back there that I was waiting on. Um, I bought four of them this time. <laughs> it's just, just, you know, it's, it takes so long it seems to get them from Wisconsin. I, I don't know why I'm getting them there, guys. Anyway, so uh, this all folds up and it'll be all folded shut. I'm just leaving her open for you guys right now so you can see what it is. But it's, it's, they're really nice. I'll show you the air, air pump I'm running. I just bought this baby this morning. <clears throat> I'm sick of those crappy little air pumps. They just don't blow enough air. So I got this one from General Hydroponics. It's a four outlet, dual diaphragm. This bugger pumps. Um, it really, 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 really blows the air there. So yeah, guys, that's, that's pretty much it for this whole system. I'll, sh I'll show you with the lid closed just for fun. Okay, guys. That's how she looks when she's all closed up. Pretty nice and tidy. Uh, fresh water reservoir. Run it down into the corset float valve. So, anyway guys, I'd call that about a done deal. <laughs> it's a done deal. <laughs> guys, I'm not kidding you, it's hot. Anyway, this is it. It's, I think it's gonna be running good. I'm gonna fill her full of hydroton today. And, uh, God, I have no idea what to plant. It's August something, 20th. I'm uh, in British Columbia, Canada. <laughs> it's going to get cold soon, but anyway. I'm thinking maybe I'll uh, pop some pole beans in there just, just to let them go. So, okay, guys, that's it. This is my version of a Dutch bucket. My second one, I'll give you a quick spin. One more time around it in case anybody tries to do this. You get a little better idea of what the heck I've done and maybe I'm sure you can improve on it. But anyway, so here we go, guys. I'll give you a quick spin and then I'll uh, pop you over and check out those nice tomatoes that are getting red too. God, they taste good. <laughs> okay, check her out, guys. So that's, this is her freshwater reservoir. Four buckets. I was going to make it eight buckets so that it could just, you know, go down the whole length of the greenhouse. But you know what? I just got to thinking, man, that's just taking up so much room. I want to try some other things. And I think at least what I've learned anyway with my experience is, uh, yeah, don't bother growing several kinds of plants in one system, or, or at least at least with my knowledge. I, you know, they, they seem to have such different nutrient requirements and everything. Uh, there probably is some that you can grow together really good out there. I just don't know what they are yet. As I learn, I'll find out and uh, I'll let you know. But I'm dying of the heat <laughs> And anyway, guys, check out these tomatoes. They're turning red. They're beautiful. And this is in the other Dutch bucket system. <laughs> check these guys out. Well, here we are. And uh, I've, been, I've been picking <laughs> and eating, of course. Uh, see little spots of powdery mildew yeah it came through this neighborhood I didn't get it as bad as maybe some of the others 
but doggone it, my, my dirt green house, lots of powdery mildew. And of course it's a lot smaller, but anyway, these guys are all looking good. Uh, I'll just show you these long guys over here. They're, uh, they're looking good. Like you can see, I'm getting some color happening here. It's all really good. And uh, the peppers, well, I guess they just kind of speak for themselves. I, I, I find that they're doing very well anyway. Now I know some of you guys out there probably have maybe grown or seen a lot crazier stuff than this, but anyway, this is my first year, my first attempt, and I'm very satisfied. <laughs> it's absolutely awesome, guys. Look, I encourage anybody and everybody to just try this. <clears throat> try to make some food for yourself. It's a lot of fun, and this is just all too simple, guys. Um, I've spent some money into it because I kind of get carried away. <laughs> Anyway, that's pretty much it. That's my Dutch bucket build anyway, guys. So, till the next one. Woo! We'll see you all later. <laughs> Be kind to each other. <laughs>